You've got this side, but how are we going to calculate your area and perimeter if we don't have this? We are working on a project that is called Geometry Scavenger Hunt, where we go around the school outside and inside our classroom and take pictures of geometry stuff. We started our first technology unit and we integrated it with math and reading. So the kids were running around after 30 minutes of instruction, taking pictures of geometric terms that we discussed and um, calculating area and perimeter. And then later today in reading and writing, they will write about it. Yesterday we had talked about different lines with parallel lines, perpendicular, and intersecting. And then they also looked at angles, acute, obtuse, right, and straight. Today, not only did they have to find three squares and three rectangles, they had to take yardsticks and uh, measuring tapes out and find uh, measure out the sides with their teams so that they can, during reading today, calculate the perimeter and area of each item. And then we get our iPads and take pictures of it and measure it. And then after that, we will go on Google Drive and then we will do a project and present it to our class. They're loving the new iPads. I had a kid yesterday come in actually and say, Ms. Sherman, thank you for this amazing project. And it's all they want to do. Um, never before have I had kids tell me they don't want to go to recess, but they did not want to go yesterday. Um, they're loving it and they're doing a phenomenal job. Um, it helps us because like, we don't have to like draw the picture on a piece of paper. We just take the picture and we don't have to write all that. We can just type it and use like markers to kind of like sketch of what it is. The iPads have made things a little more interesting. The kids really enjoy working on them, but having the ability to do the pictures and capture things in an instant has really been nice. My kids really love anything where we record ourselves or we're timing ourselves. I've done a lot of fluency where they can um, record themselves reading their, for their one minute timing and then they get to listen to themselves read it and find the mistakes that they made and they really like that because then no one else is necessarily grading them but they're kind of getting to check and hear themselves which has been really fun. Oh I love the iPad. Um, I, it's attached to me as I walk around the room. I even have like a, a handle because I don't like to put it down so hardly ever use my whiteboard anymore and that's such a big gift. And it's just allowed me to be a lot more creative in the ways that I can present things, especially for my visual learners.